In this video I'll show you how to set up a switch actuated servo on a FLIP32 or NAS32 flight controller. Click on your configuration tab and scroll down and turn on servo tilt, save and reboot. Then click on your modes tab and scroll down until you see cam stab. Set this to whatever channel your switch that you're using. I'm using the gear switch, which is aux 3, and set it to be enable and disable when you flip the switch and click save. So when you hook up a servo that you want to use as a bomb drop or a release mechanism, you'll hook your servo up to motor one, you need to set up your minimum throw and your maximum throw on your servo so you don't overload your servo. And then you need to assign this to a channel, which is aux three. Because right now your servo is gyro stabilized. When I move the NAS32, you hear the servo moving because it's now gyro stabilized, which you don't want. You want it switch activated. So under minimum, I'll set this to about 1200. And the maximum, I'll set this to about 1550 and set the servo zero as linked to aux three. And you can leave your rate at 100% and then click save. Now your servo will work from a switch and it's not um, gyro stabilized. For your servo to work while you're testing it, you do need a battery hooked up. If your battery is not hooked up, it will not run a servo just off of a USB device.